Have you ever used GPS or any other navigational instruments like a compass? A lot of these rely on interacting with the Earth's magnetic field in order to orient itself. What would happen if that magnetic field suddenly flipped? We know from the geological record that the Earth's magnetic field reverses. What's very interesting is exactly what happens when that reversal occurs. And of course, we haven't been around as a, as a civilized society to, to be able to have seen that. Scientists now have an unprecedented opportunity to study this type of event with the discovery of a massive black hole in a faraway galaxy that just experienced this cataclysmic event. In the galaxy known as 1ES1927-654, 236 million light-years away, a rare and enigmatic emittance of energy was recently detected. All of a sudden, the X-rays they had been recording from the galaxy completely disappeared. Researchers noticed that this lull in the X-rays occurred while radiation on other ranges of the spectrum became even stronger. In May of 2018, astronomers observed the UV emissions from this galaxy and measured them at levels 12 times higher than average. By this time, the UV radiation detected was already declining steadily, meaning that scientists caught this event after its peak of UV emissions. After this, astronomers knew that they needed to continue to keep an eye on it and study this galaxy. Then, a few months later in June, the X-ray emissions disappeared, knocking astronomers into high gear to try and understand what had happened. One of the study's lead authors, Sebastian Laha, noted that this event marks the first time we've seen X-rays dropping out completely while the other wavelengths brighten. So what could have caused this unique alteration of the galaxy's emissions? At first, a theory was introduced to explain this event, suggesting that a large enough star passing close to the black hole could have been torn apart and disrupted the flow of gases causing the emitted radiation. But this type of event would have dissipated much more rapidly than the outburst that was detected from the galaxy. Scientists now believe that this outburst of radiation was caused by the black hole in this galaxy's center, going through the process called magnetic reversal, in which its magnetic field surrounding the black hole flips, swapping the positions of the north magnetic pole and the south magnetic pole. Black holes don't generate magnetic fields themselves, but the dust and gas that swirl around them do create an extremely powerful magnetic field that envelops the black hole many orders of magnitude stronger and larger than the one generated by the Earth. As the plasma circles the black hole, the charged particles that make it up generate both an electric and a magnetic field. Scientists have learned that magnetic fields, like the ones surrounding a black hole and the Earth, can, as far as scientists know, spontaneously flip its poles. Scientists don't know how or why this happens, but they have been able to figure out how many times it has happened in the past. Data from geological surveys have found that the Earth's magnetic field has reversed at least several hundred times in the past 160 million years, with time in between reversals ranging from as short as 10,000 years and as long as 50 million years, averaging out to approximately one reversal every 300,000 years. I guess the, the models show that that could change quite a lot. I mean, people talk about configurations like octopoles or quadrupoles. So the Earth's magnetic field could really become quite complicated. And, and if you then think about the effect of that on, on the upper atmosphere, but also on things like satellite and communications, then, then, then that could be quite a, a substantial effect. And we really, we really don't know how that's going to play out. Could the trigger that caused this black hole to flip its magnetic field give us clues to predict when the Earth will go through its next reversal. This outburst of energy has been studied by NASA's Swift Space Observatory, 
which specializes in studying X-rays, gamma-ray bursts, as well as UV and visible light. The European Space Agency's XMM Neutron Satellite was also used to gather more data about the ultraviolet and X-rays coming from this galaxy, while ground-based telescopes around the world were busy collecting information on the visible light and radio waves coming from this galaxy. Using these instruments, the team of astronomers hope to complete the next stage of tests to confirm what in fact caused this outburst. Was it generated from the magnetic field of a supermassive black hole flipping, or if it was caused by some other type of event? At this point, most of the evidence that has been collected fits with the models of a magnetic reversal, but more information needs to be collected and additional studies need to be completed in order to confirm beyond doubt what caused this rare event to occur. Luckily, the researchers are clever and figured out specific key signs that we would expect to see during a magnetic reversal. A magnetic field reversing its orientation is a major event, and thanks to the current understanding of electromagnetics, there is a decent understanding of what would happen if one were to take place. As the magnetic poles of the black hole flipped, it would have a number of effects on the surrounding matter and the types of radiation being emitted. Visible and ultraviolet light should increase around the center of the galaxy because of a massive increase in heat as the matter in the area deals with a rapid change in the local magnetic field. The corona that surrounds the black hole would start to shrink as the accretion disk compacts itself around the gravitational giant. When things begin to settle down, scientists believe that the magnetic field will weaken enough to lose its ability to hold on to the corona, which would cause all X-ray emissions to halt for a time before slowly beginning again. It appears that this exact process occurred in this galaxy. As astronomers continue to study it, they finally detected X-ray emissions re-emerging four months later, which adds another level of evidence pointing at a magnetic reversal. The X-ray emissions do not come back fast at all. It took until late summer of 2021 before the X-ray emissions reached the strength that they had before this rare event took place. If they can find more evidence and officially confirm the cause of the strange outburst, it will help physicists understand more about a magnetic reversal and how such events affect the environment around it. Could this help in the case of another magnetic field reversal on Earth? Thanks for watching. Are you worried about the effects that a magnetic field reversal will have on modern day? Let us know in the comments below and join us next time on Matter.